How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Warframe video where today we are going to be taking a look at Sisters of Parvos. Now this video is going to follow a very similar format to my Kuva Lich farming guide that we did a few weeks back or even a few months back now. And we're going to take it through right from when we spawn in the Sister, doing the Grand and Void mission at the start, through to gathering all of the Requiems we're going to need, and then finally doing the Railjack mission at the end. Now, I am going to be doing this on solo. Uh, it's a bit easier to farm Sisters on solo to be honest than it is Kuva Liches, so we are going to do solo as best we can here. Now, I am not going to be going through and talking about progenitor frames, which frames provide which elements. If you want to know which frames provide which elements on the tenant weapons you are farming, then do go ahead and have a look on Warframe Wiki, as there is an extensive list there that shows you which frames provide which element. For this, I am just going to be using my Vault Speed, because I've actually already gathered all of the weapons, and I just want to get through this nice and quickly for the guide, and yeah. That's basically why. <laughs> but Vault's going to give us electricity damage. Now, when you come to farm or spawn in your Sister of Parvos, there is a few ways you can do it. Now, a lot of people like to use Mesa for farming Grand and Void missions or getting them done nice and quickly. But obviously, they Mesa only provides one element, the element that she's associated with, which off the top of my head, I can't quite remember. It might be magnetic. Um, if it's not magnetic, then it's probably impact. Um, so, you know, if you're only comfortable using Mesa, uh, then you're only going to be getting that element. If you want to use any other frame, I would actually recommend running Exodia Contagion. And that's what we're going to be doing uh, in this run here with our Vault Speed build. Um, so without further ado, let's just kind of get into spawning a Sister of Parvos in. If you want to learn anything else about this build in particular, including like, you know, what's on the vault, uh, everything else, then do go ahead and have a look at my Cetus Bounty Guide. I go in, I go into great detail on uh, on on this build and, and where it can be used so yeah do go ahead and have a look at that i will leave a link down in the description below to my farming guides however let's just get into this now and get ourselves a sister of parvos spawned in so in order to spawn a sister in you probably want to head over to pluto and be running hydra now you can spawn one in on any corpus ship tile set but Hydra is a capture mission, it's nice and speedy, and yeah, we can repeat it over and over again until we get the weapon we want. For this, for this, and as I said, I've already got all the weapons, I'm just going to take the first weapon that we get. So let's hop in and uh, get things going. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and capture our target to begin with so that he doesn't run off. And then we need to find ourselves one of those big golden hands which will allow us to enter into the Granum Void. Now, in order to enter into the Granum Void, we will need a Granum Crown of any three types. I am doing this on the hardest difficulty since it's on Pluto, um, so we're going to have Nightmare Mode or whatever it is on our on our Granum Void mission. Um, but if you don't have a Granum Crown, you need to wait two to four minutes in any of these missions uh, for a... I think, I think they're like tax collectors, basically. Uh, you need one of those to spawn in. They will drop you a Granum Crown. And then you can go ahead and enter the Granum Void using one of the Golden Hands. Now, we're actually struggling to find one here, which is a bit unfortunate. Here we go. Uh, so let's clear out the area of enemies, as it's going to ask us to do that anyway. And then we're going to use one of our Zenith Granum Crowns here to enter. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for a specific corner here, which is actually just over here. That's nice. I'm going to get myself nice and high up in this corner. And then I'm just going to launch my Exodia Contagion down. And after a while, the enemies will start pooling below me. And as you can see here, we are getting this done pretty quickly. Uh, I've had faster actually, but that's not so bad. And there we go, 31 seconds, not too shabby at all. So now we need to wait for our sister candidate to spawn. So we'll kind of just move away from extraction a bit because she does need room to spawn. And if you get it completed too close to the end, uh, it can bug out and she may not spawn in. There we go, so she spawned in now. Uh, let's see, Tenet Tetra. Not a great one, but like I said, we're taking the first one that we get. There we go. And now we can extract and our sister should have spawned. What I'm actually going to do, guys, just to demonstrate, we are now over the two-minute mark. 
So our collector might spawn soon where we can get ourselves a replacement Granum Crown to the one that we just spent. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wait for that. Here he is. And we'll pick that up and get out. And there you go. So that's kind of the repeating process. If you're looking to farm a specific weapon, you do the Grand and Void mission. Then you wait for your sister to spawn. And then you go ahead and, uh, yeah, wait for your Granum Crown guy to spawn, whose name I can never remember. Uh, so let's get on to the next part of this, which is going to be farming up the Requiems. Okay, guys, so now that we've got our sister spawned in, it is time to move on to the next section, which is going to be farming up our Requiems. Now, for this, I'm going to be using uh, Unairu. That's pretty important. Um, the reason being that in Unairu, we have two abilities. First of all, we have Magnetic Flare. This is going to create an 8 meter radius around us that's going to disable enemy shields completely. Now, that does work against the hounds that spawn in when we're farming our Requiems. Um, and it also works against the sister when she spawns in as well. We can disable their shields instantly. Uh, we also have Caustic Strike that's going to strip armor and help us deal a great deal more damage to the target either way. Um, so, you know, a very, very useful tool to be using in this if you have access to it. Um, Madurai is also a great thing to use here um, if you perhaps don't have access to Nairo, as Madurai just gives you solid damage um, and just, you know, general overall power. <laughs> so, yeah. Very, uh, very good. I'm also going to be using Plague Path with Exodia Contagion once again. Uh, and I've swapped out my Kuva Ogress here for the Felox. Better single uh, target damage uh, and can generally just, you know, pretty much one punch anything. Although I'm missing a mod here. I've only formed this twice, so it's not uh, as good as it can be. There you go, Chilling Reload. That's what should be on there. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's good enough. So, yeah, that's what we're rolling with. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to kind of uh, do this, like I said, on solo. We're going to do the short fire missions as best we can, rather than the bigger missions like defense or interception, because they take a bit longer. Uh, and we're going to run through, take out the hounds, and get out. Sisters tend to spawn a bit more frequently than Kuva Liches, and you can actually get them done uh, a fair bit faster. We'll see if we can get this done in about half an hour, and uh, in order to expedite that, I've gone ahead and thrown on an awl here. If you don't have access to awl, you know, just use one of these other ones. <laughs> you, you should be able to get them fairly quickly either way. Um, but yeah, all always does help if you uh, happen to have one's hand. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and run this. So if we take a look at our star chart, you can see our sister has spawned on Venus. And what I'm not going to do, which I think I probably mentioned this in the Kuvalich farming guide I did as well, is I am not going to allow my sister to despawn and, you know keep farming hounds until I know all three of the Requiems. I am going to try and, you know, execute her every single time. Um, and that way, you know, she is going to level up. She's going to get quite strong. But I'm going to learn my Requiems quite a bit faster, which, you know, does help when you're on solo. So, yeah, let's, without further ado, get into this. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just go in. I'll show one kind of, um, I guess, one uh, hound kill, just so you can see the... Um, what is it, the, the magnetic flare in action from Unairu and how it can help you out. Uh, so let's uh, go and uh, do this. So a hound should spawn instantly. You only get like two or three hounds in a run, I believe. Um, so we do this. You can see he's got sh no shield now. And there we go. Nice and quickly. Uh, so yeah, let's just run through, finish off the mission. Okay, guys, so the first mission is complete. We did it in 1 minute and 48 seconds, and we already know a third, at least, of our first Requiem. Now, we should be able to do maybe two or three more missions before our sister spawns in, so I'm going to be prioritizing rescue, capture, exterminate, uh, and maybe sabotage missions, depending on where they fall. If it's on Jupiter, then I'm not going to be bothered doing them. Um, so let's have another look here uh, at what else we've got. So we've got interception, mobile defense, excavation. Uh, spy is okay as well. Exterminate there. Let's do the exterminate next, and then we can maybe do Ishtar. So I'm going to swap back over to my Kuva Ogress for the exterminate mission. And then we'll get into it. Okay, guys, that's the sabotage mission done, and we now know our first Requiem. So let's go out and, uh, yeah, let's see what we, uh, what we need. So 1 minute 41, 3 minute, 1 minute, 
48 or whatever the other one was. So we spent about six minutes so far to get to our first Requiem, which is Vome. Do I have Vome? I'm not sure that I do. No, I do not. So I'm actually going to put my uh, my Ool first, I think. Um, let's carry on. So in, in a sense, now, since I don't have Vome, this is essentially like me, you know, just using a normal... Um, a normal Requiem mod rather than all because I'm using all as Vome at this point. Um, so yeah, let's carry on uh, and uh, we'll see see what we get next. All right, guys. So our Kuvalich has spawned. Let's go ahead, remove shield. Uh, let's remove her armor as well, uh, and then we should just be able to yeah one shot her. Let's see if well, we got all first. So it doesn't matter. Wrong on the second. That's fine. Let's uh, finish off this mission, and uh, then we'll get out, see where our has moved to. You can see we're already over a quarter of the way into our next Requiem. Uh, so yeah, it should be fairly straightforward from here. Alright guys, our has spawned again. We still don't know what our second Requiem is, but again, I'm probably just going to go ahead and kill her. Uh, she has managed to get under the floor, it seems. Uh, let's take this opportunity to kill some dogs. Bear in mind, if you are close, like very close to the next Requiem, then it might not be worth killing your sister. But I'm going to do it anyway, because, you know, why not? So I swapped out my all, my second here. But this might now tip us to the next Requiem. Yes, it does. So our sister is leveling up very fast. She does spawn a lot more, like I said, than the Kuvalich. So we are going to expect her to reach a higher level doing this method. But we should easily have the damage to deal with her regardless. Um, so let's carry on. So luckily for us, we seem to have got Yahoo. And we know Yahoo isn't first. Hmm. We also know that Yahoo isn't second. So this was a pretty godly roll, if uh, if I do say so myself. Uh, this is going to reduce our time quite drastically, as we already know where this Requiem mod is going to go. It's going to go towards the end. So let's swap those around. We'll put lock first now. In fact, let's do fast. Why not? I oh, know, actually. I'm going to stick with my guns. Not sure what it's going to be, but, you know, let's do this, actually. Let's do all and then lock and then Yahoo um, and see what happens. Um, so I think really we should only be getting our sister up maybe one more level and then we'll be able to take her out. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll do Jupiter now uh, and see where we, uh, where we get to. Okay. So once again, let's strip armor and take down shields. Uh... Not lock. That's fine. We'll get a bit more knowledge. So we're now about halfway through our third Requiem. We should learn our third Requiem before the Lich gets... or not the Lich, sorry, the Sister gets to rank 5. But if she gets to rank 5, I'm not going to be too worried, to be honest. Our damage output is easily high enough, and I'm just concerned about getting this done quickly. And that's why I'm executing the Liches when I see them. Because A, I have the damage, and B, executing them gives me more knowledge towards my Requiems. Alright, so we've got ourselves a very early Lich spawn here, guys. So we are going to head ourselves up onto a rank 5. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. This is like the second mission in on rank 4 Lich. So, or not Lich, sorry, Sister. Um, so yeah, it's... Uh, I'm just interested in getting the uh, the knowledge at this point, so there we go. Yeah, okay, that's the ditch. So yeah, only a quarter of the way to uh, to the next requiem. She is now rank five, so this is as hard as she can get. But to be honest, she should be just as hard as she would be at any other level because we pretty much one shot her either way. 
Alright guys, so we have now figured out what our final Requiem is. Our total mission time so far has been, or well not mission time, but just time in general actually, has been about 35 minutes. So this has been very quick, even though our sister is about, well, is level 5. Uh, you know, this has been very quick because we've learned a lot more knowledge from uh, taking her out. So Riss is our final one. Do we have a Riss? Hopefully we have a Riss. If not, then I will have to buy one. I'm not going to bother farming for one right now. We do have a Riss. So, here's what we know. We know uh, that Riss is either going to be there or there. Um, so, yeah. Basically, we need to probably get her spawn in twice. This is a 50-50 roll right now. Um, so, yeah. We'll see uh, We'll see what happens. Uh, but I think everything else is in the correct place now. Yeah. We didn't put Riss on before. No. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, guys. Let's see if we get it the first time around. If not, then, uh, yeah, we'll swap it over. Um, and we'll put the Ool in the middle. And we'll put the um, the Riss on the left. Alright, here she is. Let's see if we score. Yay, look at that. We got the 50-50, right? Fallen down. Now, what I can do here is I can just leave instantly. I don't have to wait around. Let's just uh, wait for the uh, the pop-up to come up. Good. So, she has now fled. Let's get out of here. And move on to the Arc Queen mission. So, for the Arc Queen mission and the final assassinate... I'm going to go ahead. I'm probably going to run Loki, to be honest, just for a bit of stealth. You can run Avara. Any stealth frame, any high damage frame would do just fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put on my Loki stealth build here. Oh, bit of lag. So, Felarx. I think what I am going to do now is I am going to swap this over to our um, corrosive damage. If you remember, our Lich was weak to it. And at this part, this does actually become... Oh, she's now resistant to corrosive. So, never mind. We'll swap back. In fact, maybe we'll put on radiation. I think that's probably going to be better. Um, so we need charge shell, something like that. Very nice. Uh, and yeah, I think everything else here is okay. Let's put on Udnairu. I think it still works here. I can't quite remember. I might also throw on Primed Flow somewhere. I'm not sure where, though. Uh, maybe we take off, uh, this and instead go something like that i don't think strength is going to matter too much in this instance so yeah let's uh let's get on with it guys so hop into our railjack if you do not know what i'm running on my railjack uh then you will be able to see it in one of my videos i believe which one is it that we're supposed to be going to neptune cool i'll probably just uh speed through this Alright guys, so on to killing our sister. Um, I accidentally did an extra objective, which I really didn't need to do, so that was my bad. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to kind of walk up and see if we can just take her out. Uh, I've got my Latum charged up, ready to go if my Felox fails me. Uh, but hopefully we'll be alright. So we do need to kill uh, the dog first. Or this guy first. Ah, Valkyr Spectre. Whoops, I thought that was the sister. There she is. So now we can go up. We can de-shield, de-armor. And there we go. One shot to the head. Nice and easy kill. So level 5 sister, by the way. And, you know, still absolutely insane damage. Gonna go ahead and convert this one since I don't really need it. Cool. 
All right, guys, let's uh, let's head back and then recap. And we are done, guys. So that took a bit longer than usual. Usually it's around the three to four minute mark, but I did an extra objective by accident. So, you know, not much I can really do about that, but what the hey. Um, so yeah, we should now have received ourselves a Kuvalich for trading or using as a crewmate. But yeah, I probably won't be doing either of those things. If you wanted to keep the weapon, make sure to vanquish the Lich at the end. We didn't get anything uh, of, of note, really, other than the weapon, I guess. You you would also get the Hound if you vanquish them as well. Uh, we got ourselves a Sisterhood Sigil. Um, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I don't think you get the dog. I'm fairly certain you don't get the dog if you convert. Yeah, if you convert, then you also have a chance to get the dog. But, you know, there we go. So, yeah, hopefully you found this uh, interesting or informative. In total time, so from literally when we started that Grand and Void mission to when we finished that mission, it has taken us about one hour exactly uh, for all of it. Uh, so just for one sister, that's taken about an hour. Uh, if you get lucky, if you get a bit luckier, then you can probably get it done between sort of 30 and 50 minutes. Uh, and if you're on public, then you might even be able to get it done even faster, so... Bear that in mind. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys found this video interesting, informative, whatever. Let um, Share your your comments, your suggestions down below. Be happy to read through those, how you guys like to farm it. Obviously you can, like I said before, you can wait for the sister uh, to, to go away and just keep farming up hounds until you know all three requiems. That's definitely a good strategy. Not going to deny it, but you know, when you're, if you want to play on solo and do this and just kind of speed through it, then you're probably better off just killing the sisters because if you have as much damage as i do then it shouldn't matter if your sister gets to rank five because you can one shot them either way it makes no difference whatsoever um so yeah once again hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one i'll see you later guys